And again, all of the ways that I've made money in the past is literally the exact same thing. I build an audience, sell them something. Build an audience, start a business. Build an audience, start a business. Set it the other way around. Don't start a freaking business and then build an audience. It's hard. But what you can do is start building up an audience. The best audience to build is based off of your extension of your values. What's important to you? What if I were to tell you with this new way that I'm making money online, I still have no idea what I'm freaking doing. Now, even though I make like six figures a month net with, for example, my online business, as I'm making this content right now, I have no idea how I'm actually gonna go ahead and make money. So how am I gonna go ahead and walk you guys through how I'm personally gonna go ahead and make money with this, right? So it's very, very simple. The first thing that I need to go ahead and do is to get some type of attention. Just get some type of freaking attention. So what I'm doing right now, I'm literally going through my life. If you looked at any of the previous videos of me talking about like mommy and daddy issues, trauma, how to find a wife, all of these things, how to deal with people that disrespect you. These are all deep, 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 deep pain points. These are all deep, deep pain points that I felt in my life. When, for example, the girl that I was with didn't respect me and I didn't feel like a man. Or when you know mom and dad were constantly fighting and I didn't have any money so I need to go out and make money. Or when I'm in a relationship for a long period of time and I didn't know how to express what I actually wanted. I felt like I was appeasing her too much and she started disrespecting me even more. And I just started getting angry but I didn't know how to express it because I was a nice guy where it just hurt so much where I was like, okay, I'm making money, but how come my interpersonal relationships aren't working? To actually feeling loneliness or anxiety or craziness or depression, right? Those are a lot of deep pain points that I felt, right? So I don't know exactly how to monetize it, but what I do know is that is a deep pain point. So what am I doing now? Just literally look at what I'm doing. I'm creating content about that. I'm literally creating content about that. So as I'm creating more and more content about that, more and more people are seeing exactly who it is that I, I am because I'm essentially talking about my pain points. I'm literally complaining about my pain points on social media, on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, on all the things that are freaking going wrong in my life. All of the pain points, all the challenges, all the times where it's just like you wanna freaking cry, where you wanna go ahead and for example, yell at the world, where you just wanna blame everything. I'm literally creating content about that. And what's essentially happening is now I'm building an audience. A new audience, not like the old audience that I would make back in the day where I would like rank for how to make $100 a day as a broke 15 year old. You know, back in the day, like we were doing this high ticket product and uh, one of the guys that I was working with, they're like, man, we're trying to go ahead and sell these guys. But for some reason, everyone that's getting on the phone is like broke 15 year olds. I'm like, that's weird. I, I don't understand where are they coming from. Is it the ads? Is it the advertising? Is it the YouTube ads? Is it Facebook? Oh, it's because I ranked for a video that literally said how to make $100 a day as a broke 15 year old, right? So. You could go ahead and track whatever it is that it is that you want out from social media, especially if you want to make money online. And for me personally, what I want to attract, an audience that aligns with who my values are, who I am, what's important to me, freedom, authenticity, traveling around the world, creating content, all of these things that are very important to me. So naturally, I'm going to go ahead and talk about them. Essentially what's happening, from all the lessons that I'm learning in the past, I'm attracting more people like me from all aspects of life. Just literally look at my Instagram, you could see that you know exactly what type of person that I'm attracting because they're more likely who I am, my values, who I am. So the moment I have attention, but just creating things that resonate with me, if you wanna go ahead and make content, you gotta understand that the best way to create content is what pisses you off? What pisses you off with your girlfriend or boyfriend? What pisses you off with your parents? What pisses you off at your job? What pisses you off with people? What pisses you off with your fitness? What pisses you off with your love life? Talk about it. Because if it pisses you off, you're gonna find other people that are also just as pissed off as you. And when you find other people that are just as pissed off as you, you're able to create a community. You're able to go ahead and create a community. So that's literally what I'm doing now, right? If you literally look at the videos in the past, I'm literally talking about all the things that I'm pissed off at. I'm like, oh, that person pissed me off. That person pissed me off. I was in a relationship with my ex. That pissed me off. I'm learning all these lessons. Wow, why isn't no one talking about these lessons? I'm reading all these books. I'm getting into all these conversations. I'm going to all these events and masterminds. I'm learning all these things. Now I'm sharing and I'm sharing and I'm sharing and I'm sharing. And guess what's actually happening? I'm attracting more people like me. I'm attracting more people that are like, oh wow, this Mike guy, he's, he's, he's kind of like saying things that I'm thinking about, that, that no one else has talked about, but yet I'm thinking about, right? And as I'm doing that, I'm building an audience. So now I have the attention. Now you're watching this right now. Guess what the next step is if I want to go to make money online? I'm gonna get you guys on the phone. I'm gonna get you guys in the DMs. I'm gonna start talking to you guys. Right now, every single day when I'm like on the treadmill, I'm like sliding in the DMs and talking to people that are just following me and I'm like, what are your pain points? What are your pain points? What are the biggest pain points in your life? I'm hearing so many different things. For example, with the make money online thing, I'm on, I'm on the phone with this guy and he's like, oh, I just got a breakup. 
I'm like, I knew it. Do you understand that so many people that made money online, the reason why they made money online, they made their hundred dollars a day, they made their thousand dollars a day was because they got their heart broken. <laughs> like one of the fastest ways that I started making money online, when I went from zero to hundred dollars a day to a thousand dollars a day, wasn't because I wanted to make money online, it was just because my heart was broken. And I just thought if I made more money, I didn't have to go ahead and suffer this pain that I was feeling, right? So heartbreak was very, very interesting. Why do you think I started making content about heartbreak? Because I'm on the phone with this guy that was like, I want to make money in line. And I'm like, why do you want to make money in line? It's because my heart was broken. Huh, interesting, right? Or why do I want to make money in line? Oh, because I was uh, dealing with this pain point and challenge with mom and dad and I have this trauma with this past relationship. Oh, so many of the reasons why we want to make money in line actually is because some type of relationship problem. I can tell you this reason why I wanted to make money in line was my relationship sucks so bad and all my friends thought I was crazy that I had no other chance but to make money in line so I could just escape the city that I was in. So I started realizing actually the reason why a lot of people want to make money in line is actually relationship problems. Not because of, oh, I just want to make money. The people that just want to make money aren't actually the people that I want to work with. Many times the people that I love working with is the people that want to make money to escape a painful relationship. <laughs> Those are the ones that I get into. So. I'm like getting on the phone with them, I'm talking to them. I'm like realizing that actually the reason why they wanna make money line is either relationship with their mom and their dad is not good, relationship with their lover is not good, and money would actually go ahead and fix it. Money would give them the freedom, the options to actually go ahead and fix it. So the moment I started getting them on the phone, guess what I started doing? If I like that person, if I wanna attract more of those people, I just talk more about that stuff. I literally just talk more about that stuff. I attract more people, get more of their attention, get more of their eyeballs, have them more resonate with me and my message more so than anybody else. And now they see, oh wow, this guy, this guy knows exactly what he's talking about because he's literally describing my situation. How do I know how to describe your situation? I'm either talking to people like you or I'm going through that situation myself. So the moment I have that, I get them on the phone, guess what I do next? I'm like, well, what do you want to buy? <laughs> what do you want to buy? Right? Literally, people in pain point, what they want to do is they want to buy their way out of their pain point, like how I did. Do you understand that last year I probably spent maybe 60 grand, 60 grand to go ahead and learn things to increase my love life? Why? Because I generally know that I need to invest in this if I want to go ahead and have a good dynamic with the future mother of my child, my future wife. I understand that the biggest cause of pain in life is literally because mom and dad didn't know how to communicate, so the kids learn how to communicate from their mom and dad, and mom and dad are constantly fighting about money, so the kids are going to go ahead and repeat that. I know that that is something I don't want to recreate when I have kids in the future, so I literally invested like 60 grand to make sure that didn't happen last year, right? And understand this, like, Spending that much money is because that person knew the exact same pain point as me. So I, what I did is I got on the phone and I was like, well, what is your biggest pain point? And how could I create something that could solve that? And again, people started telling me, telling me this, I want that, I want this, I want that. It's cool. Then I went and created the product. Then I went and created the product. I think the problem with most people is they do the opposite. They spend so much time, let me go ahead and build a product and launch it, build a product and launch it, build a product and launch it. No, it's dumb and stupid. Your biggest goal is just getting as much attention as possible as much attention as possible. And also, to get as much attention as possible where you don't look or sound like somebody else that's already online. You have to be unique to who you are. The reason why you know you're unique is if people want to be like you compared to someone else. But if someone's like, oh, this guy sounds like that other person, then you're just playing the copycat game. For example, I was on a podcast with one of these guys and he literally kept on saying things that I've heard someone else say on social media. Someone else say on social media, I'm like, dude, this is, and I started judging him, but then I realized, well, I'm kind of the same way. I'm like listening to all these people, and I want to be like them, and I put them on a pedestal, and me in a pit, and I'm like, I want to be like them, but then I'm like, whoa, I'm taking away my own power. Because what I'm able to see in other people, the uniqueness in them, I could also see in myself if I truly looked into it. And that's why a lot of the content that I'm creating is now more off the cuff. Because I'm like, what is actually authentic to me? What am I actually learning about when it comes to making money online? Right? What am I actually able to say that is from my own experience based off of instead of what I heard from somebody else say on social media? And essentially what's happening is I'm building an audience. You're watching this. Next step is I'm getting on the phone or getting in the DMs. If you have any questions, literally slide in the DMs in my Mike Vasile Instagram. Now, what normally happens, and it's freaking annoying, you go ahead and follow me. There's me like 10 fake accounts, they'll try to sell you freaking Bitcoin. It's not me. It's not me. There's so many accounts that when I follow someone or when someone follows me, 10 fake accounts slide in the DMs asking, sir, do you know Bitcoin? Every single time I meet a girl that I'm attracted to and we follow each other on social media, if I don't message her first, 10 random Indians pretending to be me asking for Bitcoin will. Do you understand how annoying that is? How annoying that is, right? But understand this, go into my main one, slide in the DMs, it's Mike Fasile. ask me a question, ask me a question. I'll literally go ahead and answer it. 
Why? Because I'm learning more research on exactly how to create a better product to go out and sell you guys later in the future. And again, all of the ways that I've made money in the past is literally the exact same thing. I build an audience, sell them something. Build an audience, sell them something. Build an audience, start a business. Build an audience, start a business. Instead of the other way around, don't start a freaking business and then build an audience, it's hard. Don't start a business and build an audience, it's difficult. But what you can do is start building up an audience. The best audience to build is based off of your extension of your values. What's important to you? Because if you're getting on the phone with people and you're like, I would never want to freaking hang out with these people in, in life, you're making the wrong content. Uh, the reason why I knew to start pivoting my content is all the people that I was meeting in real life that generally wanted to meet me would not watch the content that I was making. They would not. I would almost be ashamed of this is the content that I'm creating. And I was always kind of wondering why. I was attracting these people in my real life, but in lo- online I wasn't attracting the people that actually resonated with me. And the moment I started doing that and kind of combining them, I started making even more money. Like, do you understand that? But it all stems with creating content. It all stems with building an audience. Selling a product is easy. Like, all making money online is building an audience, selling them exactly what it is that they want. Bam, you made money. How do you build the audience? TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook ads, YouTube ads. You're building an audience. But why would you spend money on ads when you can literally just create content for free? Like, you can literally create content for free. It doesn't cost anything to post on TikTok or on Instagram or on YouTube. You should literally be posting. When I understood how powerful social media was, I started publishing three videos a day on YouTube. I started publishing like six TikToks and Instagram reels every single day on my Instagram and TikTok. Why? Because it's free. Are you just that freaking lazy where you don't want to go out and impose your values and your will onto the world and make money for you essentially being you, for being authentic to who you are with your values? Like, why are more people doing this? I'll tell you why. It's because they're lazy. They're comparing themselves to someone else. They see some guru online. They're like, oh, I need to go ahead and do this business model. When what will actually give you the most fulfillment is finding what your values are and living life in those values that are important to you because then you don't need any inspiration. Like, do you understand? Like, my main values in life are health and creativity. You can see because everything around me is creative. Like there's this guitar here, there's a bunch of tripods here, there's cameras there, there's cameras there, there's this big teddy bear behind me. Everything my aspect is designed to have my ultimate value be like creativity and health. That's where my time and energy and focus is. And because of that, business is easy because I just literally, like I don't need to be motivated to do all the things that it is that I'm doing. When you understand what your values are, and you understand what's important to you, and you start creating content based off of those values. It's one of the best ways to make money online, man. Let's say how I started making like six, six figures a month net. That's how I'm gonna start making more than that as well because I, I aligned my making money online opportunities with my values. And if you need help with that, then check out the links below because what allowed me to go and do this was creating time, money, and location freedom. If it was a business model that would make me $100 to $1,000 a day, great. I would do that, but then I would focus on my values. This is why we have multiple opportunities in the links below. If you want to start an e-commerce business, check out the third link. If you want to join my personal branding mastermind community, if you qualify, book a call with me and my team to see how we can help you. As well as if you want to find the fast way to create passive income with artificial intelligence, check out the first link in the link below.